Hi, I am Daniel Sadaka. Today, we are sharing with you the other side of the story we have never shared with you before. Hydrocephalus. The baby is two years. The baby is always not jovial, it's not happy. His name is Huge. You see, all these babies have a different condition from one another. They really need help. Through your help, they will be sustained, kept alive. He kept these children in the hospitals, on the roads, and others at the fence. After the delivery, the mothers ran away after discovering that they are deformed. They are being eaten in their houses. Their parents take them as a curse with sacrifices. When it comes to feeding, it is. When it comes on feeding, this team does a great job. Troublesome, but we always make sure that all these children are fed to their satisfaction. The young ones, we have to make the food into a smooth paste so that they can. Young ones, we have to make the food into a smooth paste so that they can easy they can be easily fed because they cannot chew. Others have ability to chew where we give them food to eat on their own. It takes two hours to feed all of the deformed children during lunchtime and dinner is being served as at from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. so they can sleep and get their rest by 7 p.m. because they wake up at 5 a.m. for breakfast and bathing. These meals are prepared early so that they can be cold before feeding them into, to avoid burning them and also 
most are crippled, so when feeding we are careful not, not for them to choke on the food because they cannot sit upright. Some vomit during the process, so we take extra caution for them not to, not to vomit before they are fully satisfied. This is Revival and Hope for Children program. This is the story that we always don't talk about. These children are very hard to deal with. When the finished program, now we are changing the kids, the diapers. When it comes to hygiene, because all of them must put on diapers by the help of their caretakers. As you can see, they are always helpless, they need somebody alongside them. Most of them wet their beds, they wet their clothes. So the diapers that we put them on helps to absorb the urine to prevent them from having skin wounds and bed sores. It is our responsibility to take care of them. Thank you.